let's now look at group by rollup what group by rollup is is we provide a rollup list in this parenthesis uh, with the group by clause so as we see here and the rollup list if the rollup list has three columns a b and c as we see here then the group by proceeds as follows the grouping sets would be a grouping with columns a b c all three of them then grouping with just the column a and b then grouping with just column a and then grouping uh, without uh, any of these columns and the equivalent of that would be what we have here where we have so this is going to be uh, a and b columns so we have the grouping with a and b and, uh, which is listed here and then we have grouping with just a and then the second is null which is this and then we have grouping without a and b which is uh, which is this one let's now look at a concrete example here in the docs and uh, later on then we'll work this in the query as well in BigQuery. so in this particular example what we have is a column sku day and then we have a column price the group by in so the the statement the query says that we need to select the day column aggregate get the sum of the values in the price column as total and this is from the table sales that we have here and the group by roll up has list of columns and there is just one column in this case which is the day column so in the output we would expect we would have two columns one is day and the other column would be total that would be the sum of price as we see here so the first uh, first what would happen is we would have all the values of days so we have unique values of days we have one two and three and then there is uh, another null that would be there so we would have null right here so the way this would proceed is this would first perform a group by on null and on day and then there will be a group by on null i'm not sure ab about the exact order but that would be what uh, what we would expect in the output so for day we have 9.9 plus 8.99 plus 4.6 so let me add those up 9.99 plus 8.99 plus 4.56 and and we have 23.54 23.54 and that's what we have here down on the bottom left next we have the aggregate values for two it's going to be just 9.99 as is that's what we have here and next we have the threes so one plus 4.25 plus 0.99 and that gives us 6.24 and that is the value we have right here now what is the a new part with group by rollup is we would also get the total we would also get the aggregate value without using the day column that is to say it would be the sum of these all of these values that we have all of these values and let's add those 9.99 plus 8.99 plus 4.56 plus 9.99 plus 1 plus 4.25 plus 0.99 and we get 39.77 and this is the exact value that we have right here so this is how this table was created that we already have uh, listed down here so this is one example of how the group by rollup works let's look at yet another example of how the group by rollup would work and for that uh, we have another column down below which we can look at and what we have here is uh, here we are going to perform the rollup on three columns uh, which uh, sorry two columns sku and day so let's look at how that particular setup works 
here the group by is on two columns we have sku and day so in this case then the way the group by would proceed is as follows the first group by would be sk uh, not in the this particular order but what we would have is this we have the sku day this would be one then we have sku and after that we just have null so we'll have three separate uh, ways the group by would be done and let's look at how that is possible in the example below so we have these and let's see if i can zoom this out okay i'm not sure if you'll be able to see this i'm hoping you are what we have is then if you look at the group by with sku and the day both of them then let's look at one value so if we have sku and day and then we have the price which is the sum of the price so here we have 123 123 and both of them have day one so that would be one row that we would have and the value for that is going to be 9.99 plus 8.99 and we get a value of 18.98 18.98 and that's the value we have uh, listed here 18.98 and that's the value we have here for this one next and so on this will go on with other uh, other values that are there so the next value is let's pick 4.456 and we have the day one so there's just one day so four five six uh, day one and we have value of 4.56 and so that value stays as is 4.56 we have four five six one and we have that value next let's look at the value uh, so day one i think is done now let's look at day two for day two we have one two three that's the sku and uh, there's just one value for day two so one two three day two and that value is 9.99 and that's the value we have here uh, 9.99 for one two three and after that so we are done with this next we have seven uh, for now we are into day three for this uh, these three and again the for four five six four five six in day three we just have one value which is this one and the value is 4.25 and followed by that we can look at nine at seven at nine and there we have value of one and one zero point nine nine for day three and so that's going to be 1.99 and so we have this 4.25 1.99 for for the day three so the so we are done with the part where uh, we would we are doing a group by using both sku and the day so that's that's this part right here next step is uh, is, uh, the group by only with, uh, with the column SKU. So let me erase this. This should be SKU. And with just SKU, then what we would have is uh, we would just have three, a uh, one, one, two, three is one, four, five, six. So let's write those down. One, two, three. Then we have four, five, six and after that we have seven eight nine so we just have uh, three unique values and the day values for all of these would be null because this is group by based on just sku and now what we'll have in the price column is going to be the sum of all the values for sku one two three in the first case so let's look at what those values would be now let me go ahead and erase these markings we can write on top of that so for one two three we have 9.99 8.99 and 9.99 again 
So 9.99 plus 8.99 plus 9.99 and we get a value of 28.97 28.97 and that's the value we have right here with one uh, with this one as null for the day next we have a second value which is for 456 and for 456 we have this value and this value so let's add those 4.56 plus 4 uh, plus uh, 4.25 and we get a value of 8.81 8.81 and that's the value we have right here finally let's look at 7.789 so 789 we have uh, these two values i think those are the only two values so we have 1.99 again for 789 and that's the value we have right here so after these two the next what we are going to have is group by using just uh, just the none of these two columns so it's going to be addition of all the values in the price column for uh, uh, without any consideration for what sq or what day it belongs we are going to add 9.99 and all of these values so let's add those 9.99 plus 8.99 so plus 8.99 plus 4.56 plus 9.99 plus 1 plus 4.25 plus 0.99 and we have 39.77 so this is going to be null this is going to be null and this is going to be 39.77 so, so that's going to be our output table when we perform a group by roll up sku and day as we see here with that intuition now let's look at how the actual query would work i'm going to clear this and now we can go into here and look at the query so what we have then is the table sales that, that we just saw i'm going to comment this out and in this very first part of the query we are going to roll up by day and as we have seen earlier we should get the output where we see uh so there's some error let's see what the error is group by day uh there is this column that i meant to uh comment out so let's do that rerun this and we should get an output where we have the day column so we have the first uh we would have the group by by day and then we would have group by without any day so this is the group by using the day itself and then this is the group by without anything so that's that next let's look at another way this particular group by roll up can be done and this is using two columns now we have sku and we have day both so let's run this and see what output we get should be same as what we've just saw now let's use different colors for this so this is going to be uh, null as we would expect and let me before that let me pull these up here okay so this is going to be just the null and then this part is the sku only and this part is sku and the day this again is sku and day uh, this is again sku uh, itself sku itself and again the same thing this is sku and day and this is again sku and day and this is just sku by itself so this is how the group by roll up would work and i hope you got an intuition on 
how uh, to write a query for this as well if you have any comments or suggestions please do let me know in the comment section below i hope to see you all in the next video please like share and subscribe thank you